You know, and, they're, and the people who are making the most money don't have time to get smart anymore because they're make, spending too much time selling themselves instead of getting smart. Yeah. And because, yeah, you know, that's why I think fun. Fun is the most important thing, I think, for success. Because if you're having fun, it's a win, win, win. I mean, just think, okay, if you're, you're planning to start a project or venture, well, I'm going to make a zillion dollars, you know, I'm going to make whatever, you know. And, okay, it's Thursday already, you know, and I got nothing yet, you know. It's a week and a half goes by and still have nothing. Oh, God, you know, you get a little stuff. And, and you don't like it. Somebody just told you you're going to make a lot of money doing this, and you don't really know anything about it, but you're trying hard, and it's miserable because it ain't working. It's sort of like a bad date, you know. I mean, you could tell when you open the door a lot of times, you know, hey, this is, <laughs> you could go home now and probably <laughs> be okay, you know, and you got to go through that whole evening, oh, God, you know, but those beautiful dates, you know, that all of a sudden it's four o'clock in the morning, where did all that time go, right, and where did that happen? If you're doing something you love to do, you want to do it more than anything else, man, that's what happens. And then what happens is you have energy. You got energy to do anything. You have energy to put up with any shit that happens. You know, you don't care because you're winning just by being there. You want to do this. You know, so sort of like people want to play golf. I'm as a golfer. You know, like, you, know I mean, you see golfers go in the rain, the snow, and hey, just want to be there. You know. And I remember when I was a golfer, I was like that. <laughs> and and but then when I went to work, I wanted everything perfect, right? <laughs> I wanted to have a nice office, a nice this, and everything. But I'd go out and play in miserable weather for 36 holes, you know, all day and night probably. You know, the most miserable thing in the world. Because I wanted to be there. So why shouldn't all your life be that way? Some place where you really want to be. And that's why I really feel that because life is so difficult, there's so many hurdles, and nobody knows what's going. You're guessing no matter what, no matter how much advice you get, how, many, how much stuff you get from anybody else, and you're guaranteed. There's no guarantee. But if you're happy doing it, man, you're winning. Because you're happy now every day. What could be better than that? Working for a million dollars, then you get that, and what do you do now? You still got to do something. <laughs> right? And I think life is about doing something. Doing something with your life. What are you going to give the rest of us? That's what we're here for. You know, your talent, your expertise, or whatever it is that you're passionate about. What are you going to give us? And that's the good part. I mean, that's why I think when people get old and they we're given. They just want to play lousy golf or something like that, and throw vegetables at the television, or <laughs> complain about stuff. And yeah, well, why? You know, and that's what's so neat about. I mean, it doesn't matter how old you are, or what talent you have, or whatever. There's something there for everybody to do, and it's easier. Before you wanted to sell something, when I grew up, man, you had to have a store. Right? You need a store to sell something. I want to sell clothes. I want to sell food. I want to sell a, a store. And, and in today's turn, turn that would cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars to open up a store. Now, you know, for a hundred bucks, you put up a website and you start selling shit. Yeah. That's all you need. You just need customers. You know, you start asking experts what to do and things like that. They're going to wash you through how to spend, you know, $10,000. And then start finding a customer. No! You start finding a customer first. Forget. I mean, even though, to me, you don't even have to file with the government. Because you'll probably be out of business in two or three years anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and it'll take those suckers five years to find you. And you'll be out of business. So what the hell? You know? Or if you're still there in five years, you pay the extra 50 bucks or something like that. You don't have to waste your time doing that. Without a customer, you're nothing. And, and, and that's what's so neat about the internet and everything right now. You could just have an idea, a dream, a, a thought, uh, an, uh, whatever. And you work on a website or, or a crowdfunding site or whatever and see if people are interested. Because that's it. If you're asking your, your mother-in-law and your friends and everything, they're not going to buy your stuff. You know? <laughs> they probably are not. You know? I remember what I do with commercials all the time. You know? I'd tell my friends, you know, and show them beforehand and get their advice and make all the changes and everything. They don't realize about you know, five years of doing it. Man, these suckers never bought anything from TV in their life. 
<laughs> yeah, they're all snob or yuppies, you know, they're live on TV, oh no, no. And, and so it was just trying. The name of the game is trying. Trying anything. You know, uh, the only thing you know that's wrong to do is nothing. Nothing. Anything else is right. Because nobody knows what works. So what you have to do is keep trying stuff. Keep trying stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't cost money. <laughs> you got to figure out how to do this without any money. And you can. And you keep trying stuff because you don't know. No matter how much advice you get, you don't know. It's all art. I mean, it's all like you learning how to walk. You're going to try something new now. If you're trying something new, a new idea, project, or whatever it is, it's like learning to walk. When you try to learn to walk, what'd you do? If you remember, <laughs> at one year old, <laughs> you crawl on the floor, you know, right, over to the coffee table and you know, get up, and then you fall on your butt, right, and then you, you do that a hundred times, right, until you learn to walk. And what do our parents say? Now when you're trying to learn to walk in a new gig, they're saying, don't do that, you're going to fall. Don't do that, you're going to fail, right? They want to protect you. Your computer wants to restart. Oh, restarting in 14 minutes. Uh, uh, postpone, I think. <laughs> uh, and, and, you know, that's why our loved ones are our worst enemy because they want to protect you. When in theory, you have to go out there and fail. I mean, it's fun, free, and failure. That's what it's all about, you know. And you won't hang in there long enough until, unless you're having fun. That's why I think that's the most important ingredient, is to find something that you think you're, you're passionate about. And it'll, it'll evolve in something else. That's another thing. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing has to be perfect because you don't know what the hell perfect is. Nobody buys perfect anyway. <laughs> yeah, look at all the crap we buy. <laughs> it's less than perfect, right? But that will lead to something that you never even thought of. Yeah. And that's the key to life to me, is finding these things that you just try and it leads to something. That's why I'm here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But if I got, you know, 20, 30 people in a room here that have ideas or looking for help, and I, and I know, I mean, in my work, what I do, I believe there's a free answer almost to anything you want to do in life. And that's what I think the key is in life is staying healthy, staying, you know, interested, staying lovable, because that's the other thing. I mean, how do you stay lovable, especially as an old cranky fart, you know? <laughs> <laughs> And I think if you're giving and trying to give, I mean, that makes you lovable because you're out there not just worrying about, you know, oh, it's going down, the temperature is going to be two degrees less today. I think I better stay in or, you know, all those little things we worry about. And if you're doing something you really love, like playing golf, you don't care what the weather is, you just want to go out and hit the ball. And you find something, then you get positive feedback. If you really like doing what you like to do, You'll get positive feedback, yeah. And it doesn't have to beat a lot of people. I mean, all you need is 10 customers, 100 customers, or whatever. You don't need a million people to survive anymore in anything, yeah. You have an idea. If you think this is an idea, then, then it's all about finding the people who also think that is an idea. Maybe it's not your friends, but man, now on the internet, you can go anywhere in the world for nothing and try things and, uh, and see if it works or not. And that's what's available, like never before. Well, thanks for watching. Hey, this is part of a one hour seminar uh, that's available as a video ebook. So, in the ebook, you'll be able to watch segments of all this and I'll also see the notes uh, I have on the seminar. And it's all available on Fiverr. And you can go to lesko, L E S K O dot com slash Fiverr, F I V E R R. That's lesko, L E S K O dot com slash Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R. -R. I know it's misspelled, but that's how it works. Bye.